rosemary, as I have come across this huge bush, get some fresh rosemary, is actually a cognition enhancer. So I'm gonna take a sprig of this bad boy. Thank you, bush. And we're gonna put in my coffee and do some work with it. And you can just take a few little leaves off and chew them. And we get that nice rosemary oil absorbing through the gums and get that cognition enhancement. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Green eggs. Incredible. Posting some sourdough here. Ingredients on this one. We've got whole wheat flour, wheat flour, water and sea salt. And that's all you need in a bread. If it has any more ingredients than that, I would avoid it. So here we have some beautiful duck eggs we found at the farmer's market. You notice the shell's a bit thicker, different kind of color. These are, I believe, higher in protein, but look at them when they come out. The yolk is a lot bigger. The ratio of yolk to white. How are the duck eggs? Fucking phenomenal, bro. Nice. Best breakfast. <laughs> If you guys want a calf workout, it doesn't require weights. Just try and move a bit like this. We'll be springing off every foot. First things first. Outside in the morning, get some sunlight. Let's go. Nicely done. Good order. Back at it. Muscle Beach. Do some rings, do some slack lining, the outdoor movement. Not training today, but still staying active. What's the key to setting up the slack line? Keep it straight. Focus. Focus. Okay. Yes. Tag. So we've got our man providing shoes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes. Refueling, staying hydrated. <laughs> Chalked up a young Sobra looking down the rings. Papaya seeds are a natural anti-parasitic. So every time you eat a papaya, just scoop a few out, chew them up and eat them. They don't taste too good. They're a little bit spicy, but really good to get rid of those critters on the inside. Olive oil as natural moisturizer. Oh, the lighting, jeez. There we go, get my back. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I know that brand. Please. Just a little bit of salt. Oh, there you are, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Let's 
dinner time. Close out the evening with some glycine red light. Good night and I'll see you tomorrow. GM. The day has begun, the sun is out, so let's go. I wake up, put some salt in my mouth, chase it with water. Get that movement in, the stagnated blood from sleeping. You always want to get it firing before you sit down to work again, for example, for my instance. Huh, spread that pollen. Quick fit check. We got the new solar apparel hoodie, the Waves hoodie, and uh, grey soul shorts, pretty standard. We're back. A little egg quiche, three drinks of course. And let me tell you about this. So, espresso, I didn't bring a cup with me. Usually I do. But these paper cups, the lining, Paper isn't waterproof, so they have to line it with, uh, unfortunately, some kind of BPA plasticky thing. Not ideal, you know, I'm, I still got the espresso, it's not the end of the world if you're detoxing, but just so you know, you don't want to be drinking out of disposable paper cups every single day. In West Hollywood, not as bad as people say, pretty nice. I'm sure there's still some dubious stuff that goes on, but we're about to hit a workout at Equinox, so I'll see you in there. Finish the workout, it's not really a place to film, so yeah, I'm gonna go, go get a smoothie. What do we do in the workout? Chest dumbbell fly, incline dumbbell fly, super setting with pull ups. Did that for a few, kind of warm up, and then went a bit heavier uh, with the flies and also some weight with the pull ups, alternating grips. And then we did heavy incline dumbbell press, super set shrugs, dumbbell shrugs, and then I did heavy incline Smith machine press, uh, super set with rows with the same weight, so pretty heavy. Pretty simple, uh, did some curls throughout, some lateral raises as well. Um, short but sweet, but pretty heavy and intense. Great pump. If you guys ever get the opportunity, great smoothies. I'll show you what I got. So I've nearly finished it, but this is my smoothie. I had banana, maca, blueberries, coconut, milk, and dates, raw honey, raw bee pollen. So good. So what you can do, if you don't have anywhere to sun your balls outside, just do it through a window. Boom, whip them out, and you're indoors, no one can see, you can sun your balls. When I think about life, it's not about your skin. Like, I, it's, the skin is the secondary effect of what it's actually doing to you. Mm. And it's energizing you, and that's raising your vibes, raising your frequency. It's like, you're sitting in front of it, and your body is absorbing the light and you become lighter, you feel lighter, your body operates more efficiently, effectively. Your skin heals, your hair heals, blood flows, like all the things that your body is supposed to be doing. And it is raising your vibration because light is frequency. Frequency is the vibration. Our bodies are all vibrating, are all resonating. The frequency of love is much higher than the frequency of fear. It's all energy frequency vibration. That's what Nikola Tesla said. Like that's those are the keys to the universe. Do you want to chew on this raw ashwagandha root, bro? I do, please. Most of the ashwagandha you get in like supplement powder forms is like nonsense. There was this guy we met in Kauai who has this regenerative farm and he grows everything all of, the, all of these herbs you just chew it and then you don't swallow it you spit it out um, but yeah straight from the root most supplements they uh, like put other fillers and stuff in it they just don't tell you that's why I made soul sauce right Vax come on glycine
nice, got my orange, some sun. Need my front door to look like this. One of the best things you can do whenever you travel anywhere is just walk. Walk with no plan whatsoever and just wing it. See wherever your intuition takes you. You're gonna find and discover some things one, because you're walking, which is way better than just Ubering everywhere to specific locations. Uh, and two, because it enables you to just be in the environment and take a left instead of a right, uh, instead of just driving or whatever it is. Serendipitous walks, especially in places that you haven't been to before. Oh, what do we have here? Listen. Where shall we sit? spot looks nice at every opportunity that you can you should be getting your shoes off because the bottom of this sole is rubber most of the time usually in shoes so if that's in contact between your foot and the ground it's gonna block any electrical current same with the current of the earth which is what gives us grounding to receive the negative ions the positive effects of grounding we need to have our bare skin in touch with the ground. You can do it on sand, dirt, in water, uh, but at all times, if you're around grass or whatever natural environment, kick your shoes off. And of course, if the sun is out, then get your shirt off, get your sun, connect to the ground with the rest of your body as well, not just your feet. Even in the depths of cities, nature shows itself. In every aspect of our health journey and the habits we want to build, do the best you can with what you have. And that even involves the food that you get. Don't be disheartened because you can't get grass-fed organic and all the rest of it at this point in your life. I was at a stage where I couldn't have that. I was having the home brand, cheap tuna cans, uh, non-organic uh, rice and all the rest of it. And that's what I did. It was the best I could afford uh, and do at the time. And it all kind of comes with when you make improvements over, over the long term. You know, meditate for 10 minutes, get 10 minutes of sun if that's all you can do. Don't be upset that you can't do more because being upset about it is going to be more harmful than just accepting what is. It's very important. All right, I'm hungry. I'm on the go. Can't trust seed oils in lots of places. So we go to Whole Foods, old, reliable. Okay, we're gonna go through what I got from Whole Foods. First of all, this is one of the best coconut waters I've ever tried. It's a mass produced glass bottle, which is very hard to find. Honey Mum is really nice, a bit of a sweet treat, some chocolate. Air dried beef, pretty simple. 32 G's protein and the ingredients very clean as well. Beef, vinegar, salt, coriander, rosemary, black pepper. <laughs> we got the big dog, wild caught smoked salmon. 13 times 4, so yeah, 52. So with the beef and that, that's like 80 grams of protein, not bad. Pineapple, blueberries, organic, and two oranges, and that's gonna keep me going. Well, I didn't have time to stop and eat, but also on the plane, you want things that you can take. Whoa! Oh, wow. Someone just crashed behind me. When you fly, you're about to be sitting down for a long period of time. So never take these things, the travel aiders. You wanna do as much exercise, as much walking as possible before you get on your flight. By far, one of the best bits of the West Coast is Erewhon. I'll show you what I got once I'm back. All right, back in the hotel room. This is what we got from Erewhon. First of all, coconut water kefir. So this is a fermented coconut water drink. It's so good. Non-dairy probiotic, if you uh, don't like dairy. You can hear that's fizzy, see it bubbling. It's so, so good. Uh, really, really yummy, hydrating. We got some more of that coconut water we had earlier, rehydrating. Uh, and everyone do their own cold press, raw, organic juices. So I got a apple, lemon, and ginger one here. Uh, that's really yummy. You probably have half of that half in the morning. And then the food from the hot bar, lamb ribs, roast potatoes. This can be my little dinner. Last part of the day. You know, of 
course, have some glycine. A fresh bag. Bedtime, bedtime booze. Man, what a week. So, so much fun. Grateful to everyone I met, grateful for all my friends. I wanted to really show how I travel and stay healthy uh, with this video, which I hope you take a lot away. You can still get your movement in, you can still get your good food, you can still get something like, depending on where you are, but really making an effort to continue the discipline, continue the good habits, uh, still get good sleep, even if you are traveling uh, and just upping the doses of minerals or supplements to kind of coincide with what you're doing really makes a difference and it means you can continue to progress physically with your health even if you are on the go. People may use uh, a holiday or traveling as an excuse. Oh, I'm, I'm sore from traveling. I don't want to work out. Oh, I just want to, you know, I'm on holiday. I can just eat whatever. You can. But why would you do things that harm yourself when you come back into the flow of things and back to your proper routine? Like you can just con continue uh, to make good decisions and good diet and all the rest of it. And then you have more energy and you're not kind of working backwards. And you, again, you've just got that constant improvement over time. It's not gonna be 100% when you're traveling. That's just the way it is. But you can still do a lot that you shouldn't get disheartened because you are traveling and all the rest of it. And it makes the travel a lot more fun. So. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something, and thank you to everyone that I met over the last week. Uh, it was it was great fun.